Um, I'm Roque Silva Morgado, inspired entrepreneur representing Guinea-Bissau. Mr. President Zamari Vaj, since our independence, we have gone through political chaos. This has hindered the formulation and implementation of a concrete sustainable development plan or policy which could thoroughly tackle climate change. Due to our fragile government and lack of proper regulation and law enforcement, many national and foreign cit national citizens have taken advantage of our country. 4.5% of our forests have been devastated yearly. Foreign companies indiscriminately cut down trees and export hoods without replanting. The production of charcoal and use of plastic bag, importation of oil car and generators, and dumping are also conducted indiscriminately. These actions are polluting our environment we all depend on. These are the challenge we will have series of catastrophic consequences for our generation and those after us. Forests are logs of our planet. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change estimates that the world, holds, yeah, the world forest holds 1,000 billion tons of carbon. Mr. President, I believe that you know we have a strong obligation towards the betterment of next generation. As a leader, a strong responsibility lies with you. Through the vote, we as people entrust you to be in charge of this, our great nation we all love. Mr. President, as we might towards the bigger challenge of development and industrialization, I am urging you to politically strengthen our dear nation against the horrific danger of climate change by signing the International Agreement on Climate Change at Paris Convention. Mr. President, I am also urging you to strengthen our country with strong policies and law enforcement mechanisms to stop activity which are devastating our forest, polluting our environment, and rapidly changing our climate. But the most effective ways of achieving this great challenge doesn't rely just on policies and law enforcement. It also, by incentivizing entrepreneurial initiative and creating funding opportunities for young people to come up with projects and tackle these issues. I am urging you to create funding scheme and taxation plans that could eradicate climate change. Thank you.